So I just got done watching Wicked the movie. No, not Wicked, that website that's on some of the toy boxes, Wicked the movie. This is, of course, part one of a part two movie series. We get part two next year. Lots of thoughts going into this. Some people saying that this was already a masterpiece. Lots of hype surrounding this because of the Broadway play. And I'm here to tell you, as someone who's never seen the Broadway play, didn't know anything about this, but I do love The Wizard of Oz. I really liked it. I really liked it. I definitely need to see where part two lands to showcase to me if this is actually a full on masterpiece. Buddy. Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today we're going to be discussing Wicked. This is about Alphaba, a misunderstood young woman because of her green skin, and Galinda, a popular girl, which just saying popular puts the song, Are You Gonna Be Popular in my head? Just, just putting that out there. But they become best friends at Shiz University in the land of Oz. And after an encounter with the wonderful Wizard of Oz, their friendship reaches a crossroad. Now, that's just the basic synopsis. There's a lot more that goes into this because it is a two-hour and 40-minute movie. This is only a part one. And from my understanding, the Broadway play is already two hours and 40 minutes just for the whole thing. I can't tell you here and there what was added, what was not. But what I can tell you is that, again, I enjoyed the film for what it is. I'm not here to spoil anything, not to here to say where it ends at, but I think Broadway way fans will be able to tell of that because my sister guessed it right off the first bat this is one that a lot of people have been excited for it's been one that's been heavily in development in movie form forever and i think the fact that it's actually here is a testimony to its part but the fact that we're also just getting more content from the wizard of oz is like what's exciting to me because that's like one of those classic movies that i've just always enjoyed and wanted more of that world and i think like the closest thing we've ever gotten to is oz the greatest powerful film from sam raimi which i don't think is all too great there's some things to enjoy in there but i think wicked is just a really good movie and it's one that as someone who is not huge on musicals actually appreciated a lot of the songs in here and i'm excited to talk about this film today so make sure to leave your thoughts down below hit that like and subscribe button and without further ado let's dive into my pros which the first thing i actually really want to capture is something that i was completely wrong on and that was the casting of ariana grande who i've loved her music but in terms of acting, I didn't know what she was going to be able to deliver as Galinda. And through the first few moments with her character, I instantly knew, yeah, she's perfect. She plays this part and she really embodies it to the point where I didn't see Ariana Grande. I saw Galinda. And that's a lot specifically when it is Ariana Grande. She is in the popular point of view, in the popular eye, in so many different categories, and has been around through a lot of my childhood. Grew up with like Victorious and all those different shows that she showed up on. But for her to come in here and deliver like an astounding performance, it was just phenomenal. And I know there was probably a lot of fans out there that knew she was going to be able to play off and be Kalinda. Again, I don't know much about that character other than what I saw in this film, but she is fabulous. Um, and she's perfect. And obviously she plays the music just up to another level. She's amazing in those moments. Alongside the Cynthia Ervo was like the only casting in here that I was never afraid of. She's always phenomenal in everything she's in. Even if the films like itself are just okay, she is always the best part about them. And I think here she is my favorite aspect of the entire film and specifically how she plays Alphaba. And, what I really appreciate about this performance is that obviously we all know about the Wicked Witch from Wizard of Oz. And I've always been curious to see what was her side of the story and what brought her to break bad. And to kind of see some of those seemingly layers placed into here and to see where it kind of plays out. I think Cynthia does such an amazing job in that. And also the songs, the singing from her. Just like I said, Ariana was amazing. So is Cynthia. She is stupendous in here she is fantastic phenomenal just really made me smile the entire way through and i also think that when you get them together for their musical moments for their musical dynamic for their chemistry with one another it is absolutely off the charts even when like even right before they're actual friends and there's like some bitterness between them and certain things that's just kind of going on because they're the complete two polar opposites of each other there is that chemistry that you just like love to see on screen and they just light up everything. I think they really are like, if you had a reason, maybe you weren't sold on this film yet, 
they are the reason to go see this movie. I don't think non-musical fans nor people who really care about this will be absolutely up in arms and super excited for this. But if you were looking for any reason to like push yourself to go see it in theaters, their two performances are the reason to go see it. Alongside this, the rest of the cast is pretty solid. Uh, Jonathan Bailey, very charming. Really liked him. Marissa Bode. I really liked, wish we had a little bit more of her in here. Ethan Slater's pretty solid. Michelle Yao is always fantastic. I thought she was really good. And Jeff Goldblum, another one that I wasn't sold on him being the Wizard of Oz, but he really did a great job. He didn't just do his ho ho, 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 like that. I think he's been like kind of the shtick for doing lately how he personally played the wizard i thought was actually really great and settles into john m chu who is the director of this who did an amazing job with crazy rich asians another film that i wasn't too excited about went and saw and completely fell in love with we need that sequel by the way where the hell is it excited once he was announced to do wicked i knew he would probably do a solid job and he does more than a solid job here he creates such a great atmosphere that brings to life the world of the wizard of oz and from the opening sequence which i think the opening sequence for this is like pure perfection the way that it kind of just opens up a lot of the story was something that really just worked for me the production design is to a whole other level. The visual effects actually look really stunning, specifically the final moment. The final song, uh, love, 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 love that moment. And I think the visual effects really surround that perfectly. And everything just looks great. Again, on a technical level, I think John did a great job, but it was crafting these sequences, these dance and singing numbers that are memorable to such a high degree. Even the ones where I can't really tell you what the lyrics were for certain songs, I can at least hum some of it. I can tell you that the musical numbers and the dance numbers in there were fabulous. And I think John did that in such a high degree and does it in such a phenomenal way that it just, again, will take a lot of breaths away but specifically maybe even bring in newcomers who have never been able to experience Wicked until now. Which I think for fans of the Broadway play, I think you are in for such a great delight. I think you're going to love this. If you're someone who's just been looking forward to this, I think this will deliver in spades for you. Like I said, for me, someone who wasn't excited for this, where the trailer didn't really interest them, I didn't really know much about the concept, I just kind of knew the basic overview of it, and I'm not just that big of a fan of musicals, I, I walked away liking this quite a bit. So I'll even like it more if part two delivers, which not to say that part one doesn't feel satisfying. I think some people get a little bit worried when it says part one and part two. I'm just saying this as a complete overall story since I don't know where anything's going. I'm curious to see where part two does land on that, but at least part one will always be able to hold its own. And I do think part one does feel like a pretty definitive overall story. And I think people will have fun being able to watch these back to back once part two is finally here next year. Yeah, Wicked kind of nails all the main tidbits that people are going to love. They want the performances, they want the direction, they want the production design, the visual effects, the musical elements to all work. But why didn't everything work for me? Well, I think that some of it's just the story. And that's kind of where I want to get into some of my issues and my mixed aspects. Where these are things that I just didn't really care for. And some of that is the shiz university stuff. I, I wasn't fully embraced in it. I also didn't know how much of the university stuff was like a part of the wicked storytelling. Again, I know it's in the Broadway play. I spoke with people about it. It just didn't really like work for me in that whole entirety. Like it, it was fine. It was just like typical stuff. And sometimes the tone is a little bit kooky and a little bit out there. And some of that goes with the Glinda, which I think Ariana Grande does a great job. And I don't want to dismiss her. I know this is how the performance is supposed to be. But sometimes it just takes me out of the overview of what I was watching. But these are things I'm complaining about that I know fans are going to be excited about. So please don't hate on me. I'm just giving my point of view on things that I just didn't really care for. I think some of the university stuff could have been unique to see. I would have liked to see a little bit more Michelle Yao's character maybe actually training Alphaba and doing a little bit more of maybe Glinda, even though she obviously doesn't want to. Just in general, like characters besides the main two, if you're going to expand everything in the two hours and 40 minutes, would have been a little bit nice to see. I'm about it with Wicked. I think Wicked is a really good time at the movies. I think if you're a fan of the musicals, you're going to be excited for this. If you are just someone who's been looking forward to Wicked, you're going to be excited for this. And 
really much enough, I think the reason to see this is because of Cynthia Ervo and Ariana Grande, who are both amazing in this. Cut to black, and that was the end. I was excited and said, I'm locked in and excited for part two. I can't say that I'm over the moon excited, but again, it's going to be different for every other person. Also, one other thing I, I forgot to mention. The pacing is really good for two hours and 40 minutes. It did not feel like two hours and 40 minutes. So good job to that. I'm going to give Wicked part one a B plus. I think if part two fully establishes and really hits the mark, that rating will only go up more. I know some people might call me a hypocrite because like I gave Dune part one and called it a masterpiece and I gave Dune part two and called it a masterpiece as well. For some reason, those feel a little bit different since I knew where the story was going. Maybe if I knew where Wicked was going, I could be able to say the same thing. But again, I'm so excited to hear your guys' thoughts. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy. Stay classy.